The last seven days of Jesus were very important days, very significant. Number one lesson we are going to learn today from Mark chapter 11 verse 1 to 9 is that the triumphant entry of Jesus is the release of the tied donkey. Now the Bible said Jesus moved from Bethany unto Bethpage to Mount Olive. Bethany simply means the place of unripe fruit and bed page means the place of ripe fruits so jesus was moving from unripe fruits to ripe fruit into jerusalem and the bible said he said to them go into a village over against you i believe historian said is between bethany and bed page uh, you will find a donkey tie in a village and in that the donkey is in between unripe fruit and ripe fruit uh, the donkey was tied he was neither unripe nor was he ripe he was tied the bible said he was tied and no man had ever sat on it and there are many who are hearing the sound of my voice their life looks like that donkey this donkey was tied he, he means blessing unused he means joy unreleased it means potential on that is not unleashed it means that he was living but he was not commanding result he was living but wasting existence he was alive but purpose was not defined he was alive but potential was restricted he was alive but destiny was captured and tied one side and that is not enough the scripture said no man ever sat on that donkey that means that uh, they ensured that he was wasting away and uh, it, 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 see, there's nothing bad in having beauty but when your beauty makes no meaning when your certificate has never been used it is as good as the one that never had a certificate when beauty is never used it's as good as being ugly is somebody hearing what i'm saying here when loadedness can't find expression to me it appears as if this donkey had two problems number one he was tied number two no man has ever used that donkey of what use to have a certificate when you can't use it of what use to be anointed and yet not to be used by god of what use child of god to be a well-grown woman and yet nobody is asking your hand in marriage of what use to open a shop and nobody is asking you uh, what are you selling remember the bible said no man the donkey was a beast of burden he was designed to carry something he was created to be a burden he was designed to carry something but here was a donkey who came into existence and was not fulfilling his purpose it was not fulfilling the reason for his creation i pray for somebody any power that have tempered and hampered with your very existence the purpose of your existence if i hear your amen that power is broken over your life every beauty on use is released right now your beauty will bring profit to your life every glory not manifested anywhere the glory have been restrained and restricted i command that glory to come out of that cocoon i command that glory to come out of that restriction i prophesy this is your season i refuse you to be tied down i refuse you to be restricted i refuse you to be limited i refuse you to be held down i refuse you to be kept captive i break that power in the name of jesus from today any external power that has held you down let it be broken ladies and gentlemen from this story the bible said the man was tied down not by his own will he was tied down by an external power because jesus said lose him if any man ask you why losing it a donkey it means that the donkey didn't tie himself it means that the donkey didn't 
designed itself to be unused it was an external power if I hear your amen every external power mocking your existence whoever put hand in your matter put hand in your life put hand on your certificate put hand on your destiny it's the person with a loud amen that power is broken right now that enemy shall experience a double somersault let me hear that amen like a thunder from today no force will control your destiny no force will control your destiny in the mighty name of jesus there is nobody that is created by god that is not needed by man there is nobody that is created by god that is not needed by his generation they have a prophesied whoever say you cannot be useful whoever say you cannot be useful to your destiny to be useful to your life whoever looked down on you and downplay you whoever look down on you and commonize you whoever look down on you uh, and begin to talk you down if i hear your amen in seven days god will disgrace that person amen. god will disgrace that person amen. you are coming out of every confinement amen. you are coming out of every restrictions amen. in the mighty name of jesus amen. i know that there is a self-imposed limitation but there is also an external limitation can i talk to somebody whoever is somewhere holding the remote control button to control your life to determine where you go and where you come if i hear your amen that remote control catches fire 